Hey, welcome everyone. This is Mike from ZozoStockWatch.com. This is going to be your stock watch list, a little bit of market talk, and some news courtesy of the Trade Exchange. Let's go ahead and get into some of the news that came out uh, in the after hours uh, tonight uh, after the market closed. The IZEA uh, reports quarter one bookings of 7.8 million, up 18% year over year. Uh, that got IZEA popping in the after hours. Uh, so that one moving up in the after hours tonight. Uh, this news courtesy of the trade exchange tradeexchange.com uh, let's see bed bath and beyond investor group calls for increased transparency at bed bath and beyond at quarter four for uh, earnings call so their earnings are coming out uh, this week for bed bath and beyond I'll show you that in a moment uh, we had a uh, NVAX NVAX scientific leadership uh, to present uh, RSV maternal immunity immunization program phase three data and uh, participate in panel of the COPD at World Vaccine Congress. Uh, so that for NVAX, uh, I think that one was moving up in the after hours a bit on that. And they're going to be doing that presentation on the 16th and 17th of April. Uh, so NVAX uh, moving up uh, in the after hours a little bit on that uh, press release. Uh, Levi. Uh, just came out with their IPO uh, recently, uh, and uh, their earnings came out. Earnings per share at 37 cents, sales at 1.4 billion on uh, both better year over year. Uh, so Levi, uh, recent IPO is moving up uh, in the after hours uh, tonight on their earnings release. Uh, Procter & Gamble declares dividend in increase. Uh, we had the API crude oil data come out. Uh, and uh, it was a build of 4 uh, million barrels for crude oil. Uh, right now, USO not really being affected by it too much. Uh, the ETF for light sweet crude oil, WTI. Uh, we had PHAS, a uh, 3 million share uh, offering there on PHAS. Uh, that stock uh, grinding down. Uh, this thing had gapped up uh, this morning on some news and uh, then came out with an offering after the bell tonight. So moving down, uh, Cowan and Stiefel are the book managers for that offering for uh, PHAS. Uh, ENPH filed form 42B3, uh, 70. Um, seven million five hundred thousand on the common stock there APPS a filed form s3 hundred million uh, mixed shelf for that one uh, we did get some top insider purchases uh, galt uh, safe and meat so let's check those see if any action in those uh, meat kind of ticking up a little bit in the after hours a uh, galt uh, no real reaction to that insider purchase safe uh, that stock not doing anything in the after hours. Uh, that's some of your news that came out after the bell tonight, courtesy of the Trade Exchange. Uh, some of your earnings coming out tomorrow before the bell. Uh, DAL will be reporting. Bed Bath & Beyond reports earnings after the close uh, tomorrow, all leading up to the kickoff of the earnings season uh, with the banks reporting Friday, Monday, and Tuesday. And then we get into the rest of the earnings season. But the banks kick it off uh, with J. JP Morgan, Wells Fargo, PNC, all reporting earnings on Friday before the bell. Uh, here's our heat map for uh, courtesy of Finviz for the S&P 500. Uh, so you can see a little bit more red on our screens today. Uh, the Dow Jones was down 190 points uh, for the day. Uh, the transports were down 100 points. The Nasdaq down 45. The S&P 500 uh, minus 18 on the day. Uh, the market fell a bit, uh, felt a little bit uh, heavy today. Uh, Tivix was working today. T V I X. Uh, I had told you that I traded that a couple of times yesterday, uh, but uh, didn't get anything out of it yesterday. Today was a different story. Uh, traded Tivix uh, from the pre-market and got a very nice uh, trade in TVIX, uh, the volatility play. Uh, so that was working today. Uh, stocks uh, slid lower, uh, but calm, easy selling, nothing uh, too major. Uh, the eight-day winning streak uh, is over for the uh, S&P 500. Uh, you know, on the talk of uh, new potential tariffs on Europe and uh, the IMF talking about a global growth uh, warning again uh, and 
that came out this morning uh, during the market hours. Uh, and then uh, we talked about Levi earnings. So this is your heat map courtesy of Finviz. Uh, you can see we did have some uh, Disney had relative strength today. Uh, CMSA was moving up. Uh, Facebook and Twitter uh, were up today 1.51% for Facebook. Uh, Apple uh, gave up uh, some of its uh, uh, recent uh, gains, not much, down less than uh, half a percent on the day. Uh, a little bit of buying in the uh, defensive names here, Coca-Cola, Pepsi, and uh, some of the utilities got a little bit of uh, buying today. Uh, don't forget, Disney has its investor day coming up on Thursday, uh, so in a couple of days for Disney. Uh, so here's the SPY today. Uh, this was your sell-off today. Once again, uh, volume uh, still below my 20 SMA on the uh, SPY, uh, about 65 uh, million shares, 63 million shares. Uh, basically, we came down to around the 5 uh, EMA after pulling back. Uh, not a huge pullback here at all. Uh, still holding above the rising 10 SMA, the 20. Uh, we have that uh, golden cross going on here, the 50 crossing the 200 uh, SMA on the SPY. We do have a flat 200 uh, SMA here at 275 area on the SPY. And uh, so a little bit of a slight pullback there. We'll check the uh, Qs for you. Same thing, Qs still holding around that 5 EMA, the yellow dotted line you see here on my daily chart. Uh, we had IW and uh, IWC down a little bit more than the other uh, indices that I just showed you. Uh, IWC, the micro caps, definitely lagging here. IWM, uh, after getting up over the 200 SMA, uh, we're right back down below it. And uh, testing the 10 SMA here on the IWM, 10 SMA is at about 154.69 uh, for that. And then the 20 SMA for uh, the IWM is at 1. 5410. So a little bit of a lagging uh, after that move up above the 200 SMA for the IWM. Uh, SMH, after having a big run up, uh, pulled back to about the 5 uh, EMA today, still holding up pretty strong. Uh, now we have to see if we're going to get some follow through to the downside in some of these indices like the SMH and the SPY. Uh, we'll see how the futures open up tonight. Uh, we'll see what the opening open uh, for the market is going to bring for tomorrow um, and then uh, let's see we had a downgrade in X US steel today uh, so that one taking a, about a 10% uh, hit today for US steel uh, they got an underperform at Credit Suisse today uh, Apple uh, their price target was increased to 225 uh, by Wed Bush for Apple a little bit of a topping tail there on Apple inverted hammer uh, but uh, their price target 225 at Wedbush this morning. Uh, Amazon price target increased to 22.50 from uh, Cowan for Amazon, uh, holding above the 5 EMA there on Amazon. Uh, Zscaler got a price target increase uh, to $75 at Credit Suisse. Uh, after hours tonight, uh, JetBlue had some news, JBLU. Uh, this stock was popping up uh, came out on uh, CNBC that they're going to start a uh, transatlantic uh, service for JetBlue. So this one is up uh, in the after hours uh, tonight. Uh, so um, as you can imagine, with U.S. Steel moving down 10% today, the SLX, the steel ETF, was down uh, over 2% on the day. Uh, TAN, a little bit of a pullback here, down about 2% on the day. Uh, regional banks were down about 2%. Uh, the marijuana ETF, the MJ, down a little over 1.5%. IBB was down over 1.5%. OIH down one and a fraction. Uh, the oil services sector to the plus side. Uh, today, as you can see, volatility uh, picked up a little bit, uh, jumping about 8%. Uh, we have a 14 handle now on the VIX. Uh, by no means are we in a uh, you know scared market. Uh, we haven't even gotten above uh, the 50 SMA on the daily chart for the VIX, but uh, a little volatility showing up.
uh, for that. Uh, JNUG uh, was up a little bit today. The junior gold miners talked about it on the video uh, last night. We wanted to see if it can get up over the 20 SMA. Trying to do so on the daily chart. So JNUG uh, gold was up a little bit uh, for today. As far as the sector performance uh, for today, uh, to the plus side, uh, we had some of the um, more conservative uh, risk off kind of a day, but only up fractionally in the utilities. To the downside, the XME, uh, the metals and mining ETF down 2.5%, XOP down 2%, that's the uh, exploration uh, production ETF for oil, XBI down 2% on the day. Uh, the XAR was down one and a half percent and the home builders pulling back a little bit today uh, down a little under one and a half percent on the day. Uh, some of your top stocks in the NASDAQ 100 today, uh, CERN was up 10% on the day for CERN, Monster uh, climbing over 3% on the day, coming up off the bottom there, uh, Workday with a strong day, uh, up uh, almost 2% on the day for Workday, uh, Facebook up 1.5% on the day, has that 180 area up ahead for Facebook, so that was climbing today, over in the S&P, uh, 500, uh, let's see if we had any other different stocks. Uh, Disney up uh, one 1.65% uh, 1. on the day. Trip was climbing up 1.5% on the day. FTNT over in the uh, cybersecurity sector uh, was moving up today. Uh, looks like this one is trying to get up over that uh, 89 area and maybe try to take out that $90 area for that one. Uh, as far as uh, the marijuana stock, some of the stocks in the marijuana ETF, uh, TRPX uh, climbing uh, up 4% on the day. Uh, Cara up another 1.5% on the day after breaking up above 20 bucks. We talked about this one on the Sunday video, so a nice move there. Uh, YGYI was up uh, 1 and about 1.5% 1 uh, for the day. Not a real good looking chart there for that one. Uh, in the IWM ETF, CMRX had a strong day today, up 31% on the day. Uh, AMRS, uh, this one was up 18, 19% on the day on AMRS. Uh, FARO, a uh, big strong day today, up uh, over 18% on the day. Rose uh, climbing today, 17% on the day on uh, ROSE. It's an oil and gas uh, play, uh, trying to get up over $4 on ROSE. ROSE. So that was some of the stocks. Uh, some of your low float top gainers uh, today. Uh, Rose, as mentioned, uh, MOTS up 10%. OBLN up uh, almost 10%. SLS uh, climbing 8% on the day. Coming up off the bottom here on SLS. Uh, this is a biotech name. And uh, OCX also. Uh, this looks like a handsome chart here. Uh, let's see. Volume about 423,000 shares. Has that 450 area up ahead on OCX, up about 6% on the day. Uh, in the after hours, it is uh, trying to get above and hold above uh, that 450 area. So that's some stocks uh, that were moving today. Uh, one other stock that we traded in the service uh, for today, other than Tivix, and we traded a few others. Uh, we did about three trades on uh, ATAI today. Uh, it came up over uh, 180 today, pushed all the way up to $2.50. Uh, so ATAI was real kind to us. Uh, a nice push up here. We caught this going into the after hours, uh, breaking over 250. Uh, we got a couple of small trades going into the close on uh, ATAI. Uh, like I said, uh, Tivix was another one uh, that we traded in the service today. I took this in the pre-market on the break of 24.50, and it popped up over 20 to 25 and change on uh, Tivix. Uh, then going into the close, uh, you see Tivix taking out this uh, $25 spot here and a nice push up on Tivix. Uh, so that was a few that we traded for today at Zozo Stockwatch.
So at my service at Zozo Stockwatch, we'll trade anything from shorting uh, Tesla, TSLA, uh, which we did today when Tesla broke down below 173. Uh, we took a short on this for uh, almost a dollar uh, in a gain on Tesla. We also uh, were watching uh, Yuma. Uh, I did not catch Yuma today personally, but some of my service did uh, trade Yuma uh, in the pre-market. Uh, it did pop up to about 34 cents. Spoke about this one on the video last night, oil services uh, stock. And uh, so they were trading that one. Uh, so we'll go anywhere from a Yuma all the way to a Tesla. Uh, we're not shy uh, trading whatever is moving. Uh, so some stocks on watch for tomorrow. Uh, ALRM alarm holding up uh, pretty well uh, this is software application stock so that one will be on watch for tomorrow uh, I like to give a variety of stocks to watch on my video uh, ATAI like I said showing a strong move in after hours here uh, so we'll have it on watch maybe obviously a bit extended uh, today on this one uh, but maybe we get some kind of red to green move uh, most likely it'll probably have like an inside day uh, definitely overbought on that name uh, CEI if you like these uh, small little oil stocks under uh, 50 cents uh, this one was getting some nice volume 13 million shares uh, in CEI uh, as you can see 45 46 cents was a resistance spot for that one keep it on watch uh, CFRX uh, was moving up uh, today volume expanding 5.6 million shares another one that's under a dollar we had a high on this name of a uh, at 58 cents uh, so keep an eye on this one if they want to push it back up uh, another name CGIX uh, trading at 32 cents in the after hours uh, so uh, 6.9 million shares so why am I showing you uh, these small little ones this is what's kind of moving in the markets right now like that Yuma was popping now you know the other names are moving up also but uh, you can't deny uh, these volume stocks like CGIX uh, so if this this is your niche. Uh, keep an eye on some of these uh, under uh, 50 cent uh, names. Uh, I'll try them every once in a while. Like I traded VTL the other day. I took it up over 70 cents. It popped up to 90 cents. So every once in a while, I'll try them. Uh, so CGIX, definitely keep it on your watch. A CMRX, a uh, nice pop today. Let's see if it's doing anything. Uh, trading at about $2.68 in the after hours. Look at this expanding volume. Uh, maybe a little bit extended now. Might have a red to green day uh, tomorrow. Watch intraday or uh, maybe just an inside day. But CMRX with a nice steady climber uh, today. DCIX was uh, perking up a little bit. Daily looks uh, good here on DCIX. Uh, we have that 125, 130 spot. Uh, volume a little bit under a million shares. We are over the 50 spot on the RSI. Uh, so you could see this kind of uh, triangle formation here on uh, DCIX. Don't know if it's going to go tomorrow, uh, but worth keeping on a chart, I think. Uh, another one, Derm is hanging in there, D-E-R-M. Still uh, basing under that $15 area, holding the 5 EMA. They keep bouncing it off of the 5 EMA. Uh, so watch this one over maybe 15.10 or so. Uh, if they can get DERM moving, uh, Facebook uh, moving up uh, today and holding up real well has that 180 spot. Uh, if you want to try it a little bit earlier, maybe over that 179 area for Facebook. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, Jivo. Uh, let's see if this one, you know, a lot of fits and starts in Jivo. If I open up this chart, you can see it's been holding above the 20 SMA here, holding above this 230 spot and holding above the 10 SMA uh, down below. Below. I think it needs to get up over uh, that 100 SMA, the white line, and around that 255 uh, spot to get going on Jivo. Uh, another name in after hours was uh, moving up. Once again, it's an under 50 cent name. As you can see, uh, this one popped up to 21 cents. Uh, 13, was that, 11, 12 million shares uh, traded in this HEB biotech uh, name. So keep an eye on that one. Uh, HTGM. Uh, was moving up strong candle uh, today uh, 
695,000. So we'll call it 700,000 shares traded in uh, HTGM. Uh, strong close. We'll see if there's any follow through. Like I said, IZEA had news after the bell. Uh, you know, they popped this one up and then they sold it right off. So not so much in love with that. JetBlue had that news. So I'll keep this one on watch. Transatlantic uh, flights. Uh, NBEV, we got a beautiful trade in this one the other day. They're kind of pulling it back, but holding it around this uh, 585, 590 area. Uh, if it can get back up over, uh, you know, that 610, 605 area, kind of an inside day today uh, on this one. Now, the thing that's worrying folks on this one, if they're going to do an offering, uh, so people taking some profits there today on NBEV. They had that news with uh, Walmart, NVAX uh, up in the after hours had some news uh, from the trade exchange went over that with you in the beginning of the video so uh, once again an under uh, one dollar name and vax uh, let's see if there's anything else for tomorrow uh, Twitter was strong holding up well with Facebook uh, we actually traded this one in the service today over 35.05 uh, and it popped up to about uh, 35.30 so not a super huge trade uh, let's see the high back here on Twitter was 3525 so we closed at uh, 3514 so if we can get it up over the highs of today around 3540 uh, maybe Twitter will finally push forward uh, VSLR in the solar space uh, hanging out here uh, still right under that 532 spot uh, another solar stock that was getting buying today uh, SUNW uh, this one with a big with a big move up today. One million shares came into SUNW. Had a few traders that jumped into this. Uh, it was hitting my trade ideas scanners uh, around 66 cents. So some traders jumped in and uh, they got some nice money out of SUNW. So keep that one on watch. Another one uh, that's holding up medical devices. Uh, it it had this pop up right this earnings gap up here. It pushed up over 70. Kind of consolidating. Here here at $60. Uh, the high on TNDM was uh, 65.24. So maybe over that 60, um, 64.50 uh, area might get this one uh, going again on that one. And uh, let's see if there's anything else. A Zscaler, right, with that price target increase by Credit Suisse. Uh, if it can get back above the highs today and maybe back over the 5 EMA. 5 EMA is 65.21. The highs today, uh, we're 65 62 so maybe over 65 um, you know 25 65 30 uh, on this name uh, might get Zscaler moving all right so uh, that's some of the stocks I'll have on watch it's a good mixture of stocks uh, if you like larger stocks you have those uh, we went through a lot of news and information in the video uh, please hit the thumbs up please hit the like button if you're new to the channel please hit the subscribe button for me uh, and also please smash that like button as they say down below I'd greatly appreciate it keep the uh, the uh, channel growing and um, you know I give you a good information so I hope you could give me a good thumbs up thanks very much everybody this is Mike from Zozo Stockwatch have a great day trading tomorrow back at it with another video